Well, I was serving as mayor of Cedar City. And uh, I had business in Washington, D.C. So I went back to meet with our United States Senator. And after the meeting, he said to me, would you like to go to the President's State of the Union address tonight? He couldn't go because he had had a small operation. He said, if I'd like to go, uh, he could get me a ticket. I mean, how many people get to see the State of the Union address? And I had been earlier in the day, I'd been to the White House, fallen down and injured my knee, and uh, went into, but they, I, I was going to go to the State of the Union address. So I entered the Capitol building, and there, because I had this bloody bandage on, they, their medical corps came over and treated me. This is the top doctors of the armed services treated my knee. And then let me go, and I walked over and went into the House of Representatives. And my seat was on the front row of the House of Representatives. Right opposite me was Laura Bush. This was the very last State of the Union address by President Bush. And present was the entire Senate, the high, entire House of Representatives, the Supreme Court, the military, head of the military, you name it. The Vice President and President of the United States, all there, and he delivers his last State of the Union address. Never in my life that I ever dreamed I could go to a State of the Union address. Because, you know, it's only a handful of people that get to do that. It was uh, an exciting experience and a great memory.